everyone wins the same all right just everyone wins the same three is honesty and i think we can all agree by now i'm definitely one of if not probably the most honest ceo out there especially in crypto today i'll listen to the community i'll listen to you guys welcome guys back this is your host babriksha and today we're gonna talk in a good faith triple moon goddess says brian everyone said a few duplicate winners there are a couple that was did I, did, was this a, uh, this can't be correct. Look at that. Even though this is a random generator, it pulled out the same address, which was Carlos that we've actually, mate, Carlos, you are one lucky devil, but you can't win twice. Look, it's only one winner yes. that I'm here as yes. a man yes. of my word. Yes. Um, yes. Look guys, if you win twice, you win twice. It is honestly random, but I just can't believe that Sergio just literally took out two spots. Yes. The man of my yes. word, yes. Yes. what actually yes. happening? that the people are selected by the by the prize generator two times and why he's saying uh, to another person that you can't win twice what is actually uh, happening you know that confuses me and and i think that confuses many person and that's why the people were asking questions so i thought that i need to address this point what is actually happening to my understanding, he is not a man who is doing coding. So he does not know how actually the random generator works. So to understand that point, we need to understand how our price random generator works. So if you go to the Google and just type price generator, it will give you many different generators in the Google slot. Okay, The most common one you will find is actually the wheel of names so you will see there is a wheel and lots of name is written on that wheel so once you click the wheel what it does it rotate fastly then it slightly slow down it actually ease out the stop on a one name uh, which is actually your lucky name if you do this multiple times you will see that this random generator will start making double names and uh, this is very exciting this is a very exciting thought what if our generator is also doing the same what if um, the, the people who won two time is not actually they are lucky but they are actually the error of a software it could happen you know in the wheel generator you can see that that once I uh, try this at, uh, at first time, it give me the name Fatu. Okay? Then when I did it second time again, again he gave me the name Fatu. That's what the random generator is doing. It's actually repeating itself. Okay. So the mathematical formula. The mathematical function which is actually these random generator derived from means if you are writing a code in the visual studio or uh, on a javascript or a python script or um, boo or c sharp or c or c plus plus if you are writing a code on it so there's a function they call it math dot random what that function do that function is actually producing random numbers from 0 to 1 if you do not set the math floor for that function so you need to set a math uh, a math floor function for that if you want to specify uh, the numbers like if you want uh, from 0 to 10 uh, or you maybe need 0 for, from 0 to 6 or maybe 1 to 9 you know you have to specify you have to specify the ground floor for it so that it can work according to your thinking so that's what the random math uh, is actually doing this function is 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 very interesting you know this is how the people create uh, a random generator like if you wanted to play a dice game you need to have like six numbers in it like one to six so when you throw the dice Computer will go to the random generator and it will randomly generate either one or two or three or four or five or six and it will be doing that 
continuously. A logarithm in simple words is actually the step which the computer takes to do some task. So the our random generator is somewhat doing the same. So the people who think that they are lucky, they are not actually lucky. It's actually the error of the code developer. And I know that Brian is not a code developer. He is giving that task to his, his code developers. He might told those guys that uh, go and make an app for me which can generate random wallet addresses. So what they do, they ask you to fill the Google Sheet in which you write your name, your wallet address, your city and your email address. Once you submit it, they save that on their database. 3,290. Um, 1,547 of those people were disqualified because they either sold their safer or they sent them somewhere or part of them. That database is actually uh, have some void, uh, valid and invalid entries. The data that I've got, yes, in a spreadsheet, basically cross-references against what's actually been put into our database on our server, which is the random generator that you've seen, which is the wallet addresses. So it's only those that haven't been disqualified um, that are entered into that database. And then this spreadsheet basically just verifies it, it cross-references it, that's all. The random generator was a function differently um, in the time when we were doing the Tesla giveaway and 27,000K giveaway uh, to the people. In, in those seconds, he is actually gathering, he is just like a wheel, the wheel was rotating, uh, you know, changing the number all the time for 10 seconds continuously. So after 10 seconds, he stops, okay, he stops. Whatever, wherever he stops, that's the wallet address which wins. But I think in the node giveaway, there were a lot of people, there were a lot of people and the and the random generator was performing differently. You guys know it's completely random. I, I agree. So let's do 10 at a time. As you will see, when he was selecting the node winners, and when he pushed that button, it creates an even, even creates a function, and function creates a pure algorithm to find out what I want from you. So it only takes two seconds. No more than that. In the beginning, it was taking around 9 to 13 seconds. I really can't believe Carlos got drawn twice. That's, <laughs> that's mad. So it was actually behaving in 9 to 10 seconds, which was a quite good time. Quite a good time to select a lot of entries because I don't know how many entries in two seconds computer can like reach to. If it is just two seconds, you know, <laughs> this is too much fast. I think so that generator has to set its standards where, where how that generator should be used for uh, for gathering for gathering all the lucky winners um, and to getting the result out of it it should have a set standard it doesn't mean that in a Tesla giveaway there should be a different random generator than in the 220,000k 27,000k it, it was a, a different random generator. Last giveaway, actually the random, a ra random generator has changed. Insane, absolutely insane. So let's get this party started, guys. Um, here we go. So 10 winners at a time we're doing, all right? So it takes a little while to generate, right? Um, but once we got the first 10, we'll cross-reference them, chuck them into the, uh, to the database, and then we'll do it again. On the round, we say it took him 24 seconds to gather 10, uh, random addresses last time when he was doing that that random address that and that speed of the gathering the 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 speed of gathering the data uh, when last time he was um, taking the information out of the uh, random generator it took him almost nine to ten seconds as I told you so that is why I believe that a random generator should be performing um, in, in the same way so that people can have a fair, uh, a fair contest, a fair result out of the generator. It should not be changed every time, you know, just because, and just because there is a lot of winner, but all of those, all of those winners uh, were waiting for the complete month 
for these results i'm not worried about don't worry about myself i don't worry about myself i knew that i will not i will not <laughs> be selected because uh, i am never selected in any kind of a contest in ever in my life so i never would uh, so these these contests i am out of it i never think about contests i believe in hard work so i do the hard work so i am unlucky in in that round so <laughs> i don't think about myself but i am thinking about the other people you know and the people who are asking and complaining that it's not fair and it's, it should be fair but how it can be fair it can be fair you know with with these things you know if the brian tell to the dev that put a condition of if if the generator generates the same uh, wallet address then go back and search again until you find the new address which should not be match to your previous result so that what if condition is required to be put it in the uh, random generator among few people there were there were duplicates actually um, again and again and this is kind of an error if you go to a microsoft uh, store or if you go to your app store and you write duplicate you will have a lot of apps open which can with which you can remove duplicates it's actually an error like sometimes computer do uh, and software do and that can be easily controlled by uh, by a dev coding you know so that's what a point i wanted to address you know i think that people were asking question and people were slightly uh, fear of but that's not actually if the people are thinking that brian is the one who is uh, actually selecting these people no it's not like that it's not like that Uh, the random generator need to be fixed <laughs> and and slightly uh, should be uh, should have uh, the benchmark so which uh, on which that people can rely on and every time when you use the and every time when you use the random generator it should perform in the same way and there should be no duplicates because the contest means that if if i win i am on the one one place one place and i won the one place then why should i win the 10th place as well and the 20th place as well or maybe the 100th place as well why well, i already win the contest at at one point so there was no point of duplicates you know it should be given to a different people so that uh, people can be incent incentivized um, by the by the protocol if you want me to address something else or if you want me to talk about something else or if you want me to talk about uh, uh, anything just write a comment and i'll try to cover that uh, and nowadays i have seen that uh, um, when the brian announced the salary the value went down when the brian announced the salary the value went down so if you want me to cover that salary point i can cover that salary point but at least you guys should send me Hundred comments and, and at least one thousand likes. Oh, that is too much. <laughs> so again, guys, all these are random, all right. So don't think this isn't random. It's a random generator, okay? That's about a one in sixty-five chance. It is the hugest giveaway we've ever done. I said it's bigger than the Tesla. It's bigger than anything. I'll listen to the community. I'll listen to you guys. I'll listen to the community. I'll listen to you guys. Yeah. Enjoy your life. Yeah. Yeah. This is your host, Pablo. Yeah. And I'll see you back again. Bye bye.